Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. We're at day eight. Yay. <laughs> day nine <laughs> of our 21 days. Day nine. Nine is a very auspicious number, very lucky number, many philosophies. So day nine. As you find your seat, establish your seat, get comfortable. Know that today's subject is love. Like Hafiz writes, tonight's subject is love. Tomorrow night's subject is love. In fact, I don't know of any other subject better than that until we die. <laughs> Something like that, Hafiz wrote. So as you close your eyes, come into your breath. You can lick your lips, lick your teeth, swallow. Make a little noise at the back of your throat. <clears throat> Even clear your throat. <clears throat> and then follow the breath right down into your heart space. I want to read you something before we begin. It's from a book called The Art of Being and Becoming. So instead of teaching the lesson of indifference, the Sufis have taught the lesson of love. And more than just love, they've also really worked with sympathy. They call this the cultivation of the heart. In Sufi terminology, this is called suluk, which means the divine manner, the loving manner. When a refined manner is directed by the heart quality, it becomes a loving manner, the manner of God and all such attributes as gentleness, tolerance, kindness, forgiveness, mercy, and compassion. It all springs forth from the heart quality, the cultivation of the heart. The more sympathy and love expands, the further it reaches. Drop of water becomes the ocean. Limited man, limited human expands through love. As we sit here, just bring your awareness to your heart space, right behind the sternum. Feel free to hum into the heart a few times. Stimulate the vagus nerve. from behind the ears, down the throat, into the lungs, into the heart. A few more Burmari breaths, a few bumblebee breaths, right into the heart space. Tuning into the electrical 
conduction of the heart. The electrical impulse. Feeling of the heart. So much energy there. And literally, it's, it's electricity. Heart muscle is completely different than other muscle in the body. It acts on its own accord. And this electrical impulse. into the charge of your heart with every beat. Notice the state of your heart today. Does it feel heavy? Is there a gravity? You tune into the heart strings, anchoring. Maybe your heart feels light and buoyant. There's a sense of play in the heart. Just notice how the heart feels today. Sense it. When we wake up and feel old, is it the skin, the bones, the muscles, the heart itself? When we wake up and we feel young and youthful. Where are those sensations? Where do those feelings reside? Notice if it's in the heart. And just like Hanuman, when he rips open his chest and shows his heart, and that there's the divine masculine and feminine inside the heart. Know that whatever you're feeling, also the other exists. If you're feeling old, heavy, tethered, Tune into your heart space because the other exists. Light, buoyancy, youthful, playful. And vice versa. If we're feeling light and playful, buoyant, so much delight in the heart space, bubbles, effervescent. Also know that the other exists.
When you inhale, the pericardium, the heart strings, they follow the diaphragm downward. So there is gravity, a dark depth, downward energy. When you exhale, the diaphragm rises, the lungs deflate, the heart strings relax, and the heart lifts. We sit with our heart, with the energy of both. The energy of and. All possibilities in the heart space. Infinite possibilities. Sitting with a myriad of possibilities inside the heart helps us cultivate sympathy and empathy for others. This love. As you sit with your heart, take a moment to turn it on, uplift it, charge it up. And just really invite into your heart someone you love so much, easy to love. Maybe a pet, person. It's like we're kind of charging up the heart, expanding it. Inviting this being into your heart that makes you so happy, so joyful. Like right now, there's a, a smile on your face, so big. The blood of your body is infused with so much love and light, and delight. As you think of this person, feel this person inside of your heart. Feel yourself with this being inside your heart. 
hugging, laughing, sharing. Whatever it is that you do when you're together, it makes you so happy. May your heart expand with the blood that nourishes every cell in your body. The message of love and light and happiness. Your whole body is tingling with it now. Take a moment to have one more laugh, one more hug. Just let this person go, right? Leave your heart for a moment or two. Say goodbye. And just sit with your heart again. Sit with your body, your breath, your cells, your heart. Now you're gonna invite someone into your heart, a being. That when you think of them, you feel really sad. You just invite them into your heart. Maybe it was a mad that you realize is a sad. If you're really coming from heart space, you know it's sadness. That can show up in many different ways. Frustration, disappointment, resentment, anger, rage. But as we work with the heart, invite someone in and let yourself sit together in the energy of sadness. Sitting with tears or hand holding, hand caressing, hugging. Maybe there's some wailing. Allow yourself to sit. Open your heart. Breathe into your heart and be with sadness, this being, the two of you 
right now, very sad. Keep your heart open. Let the blood know the sadness, the cells know the sadness. Your whole body sitting here, capable, feeling this with this being. Try not to change anything. Just for now, not trying to make anything better. Simply sitting, so present, so open, so sad, so tender. Just take a few more moments to be with this being. A few last tears or hand holding, hand caressing, hugging, rocking. Loving. And then this person, this being, you say goodbye. For now, you say goodbye. Allow them to leave your heart for a moment. Sit with yourself, sit with your breath, your blood, your cells, your body, your heart. You're gonna sit here with your heart so open and not choosing a particular person or being, but sitting here cultivating love and light, 
the lighter aspect of love. Delight, joy, the buoyancy, sparkly, bubbly, luminous light, love. And you sit here with that. And just notice who's in your heart, who comes, who joins you. Without actively choosing a particular being, You could be more than one. Beings may show up with the energies, of course, of course you came to the light, the lighter aspect of my heart space. But you also might be surprised who arrives when you open yourself up, cultivating right now this lighter, So this is the fun side of your heart. You might be surprised who just came in, who's dipping their toe. Who's joining you right now? hugging and laughing, maybe dancing, maybe cooking, what's happening in there? Who just joined you? One last little bit here, and then you'll say goodbye. Just for now. All that just joined you, as you cultivated this lighter, more playful aspect of your loving heart. And you sit with your breath, with your blood, with your heart, with your cells, your whole body. Cultivate, again, sadness, bittersweetness, tenderness, the 
the seed of emotion underneath so many other emotions. Can you cultivate that right now? Can you open yourself to it? Can you open yourself to anyone that may arrive to sit with you inside your heart? The energy of sadness personal sadness, collective sadness, universal sadness. You just sit and notice who shows up. And just like before, there are those that show up, of course you came, to sit in sadness. You might be surprised who's here now, inside your heart, the sad aspect of love. To sit in sympathy and empathy with each other. To cry. To hold hands, to caress, to hug and to rock and maybe to wail. Notice who's with you inside your heart. What's happening? Poetry reading, candle lighting, song singing. And then allow yourself to offer one more gesture. Receive one more gesture. And then you say goodbye. Just for now. These beings leaving your heart. You feel yourself sitting here, breathing here. Your heart, the blood, the cells, the whole body. Calm and clear. Grounded. Buoyant.
capable. An open heart, so capable. Of the highest highs and the lowest lows. A myriad of possibilities inside your heart, the layers and layers of love. You can feel your heart, put your hands on your heart, hum into your heart, rub your heart. Hmm. Feel free to stay seated or take a moment to lie down. So I'm reading to you again from the art of being and becoming. Hearts can be of different kinds. There is the golden heart, the silver heart, the copper heart, and the iron heart. The golden heart shows its color in its beauty. It's precious. It is soft. The silver heart. Coins are made of silver. It is a useful heart. Copper hearts, pennies are made. Pennies are useful as well. Even more used than gold and silver. And copper is strong, copper is hard. It needs many hammerings to shape it. to make something out of it. And then there's the iron heart, which must be put into the fire before anything can be done with it. Besides these four aspects of the heart, there's a heart of rock, in the heart of wax. The heart of rock must be broken. It must be cut. Otherwise, nothing would reach it. The heart of wax, it melts as soon as the sun falls upon it. And when it is heated, one can mold it any way it likes. these qualities of the heart. We do not limit ourselves to them. We don't attach ourselves to them. The heart is malleable. It can shift, it can change. Innumerable qualities of the heart. It dies and it lives again. It is torn and it is mended again. And after falling, it can rise again. Where is paradise? Where is heaven? Where is love? Where is God?
in the heart of man, in the heart of woman, in the heart of human, in the heart of all beings. Thank you so much for being here for this journey into the heart. Please feel free to journal any feelings, thoughts, experiences, sensations as you journey forth into your day. Tune into your heart as much as you can. Notice its quality, its openness, and who is in it with you. At any given time, who is there? From the depths of my heart to the depths of your heart, I send so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So grateful. Namaste.